Hello everyone and welcome to another game of 99 Games on the Wall, where I hopefully play 99 games with my level 99 games friends. It's me, your host, Marco DeSantos, also known as the Mechanic Critic, with a more laid-back and chill vibe. With me today is a very special guest. As you can see, their name is Feather Rose, but they're also known as... D, aka Tarenkin, or Daniel Zeiger for short. Here, okay, every time. But I'm not gonna mention it this time, but it's not... I don't think you understand what the word short means, Daniel. I thought you weren't gonna mention it. You know what? Fine. In this episode, we're gonna be playing a lot of Shovel Knight Exceed, or Exceed Shovel Knight, or Shovel Exceed Knight. These are all correct names, yes? Uh, sure. Nah, no, only one of them's correct. It's Exceed Shovel Knight, everyone. So if you've been looking at our blogs, you've been looking at our social medias, you'll know a little bit about both of these characters. Uh, we're gonna be playing uh, some Treasure Knight against Tinker Knight, and um, I'm not gonna spoil it for everyone who hasn't read the blogs, but this is gonna be a very interesting matchup. Um, so yeah, keep your eyes out on our blogs because we release two blogs and then release the gameplay video after them. So this is the gameplay video for Tinker Knight and Treasure Knight. Uh, Daniel, how about you talk to us a little bit about your character, but don't spoil too much. No, no, no. Uh, speaking of for short, uh, Tinker Knight <laughs> is a little dude who starts with 15 health. Uh, and when his life would drop to zero, it says he instead exceeds at no cost. So mm, I, I don't have why. to take a turn to exceed. Uh, we'll get there. But uh, instead of taking a turn to exceed, uh, I exceed automatically. When you die. And I, when I would die, it says instead. Ah. Oh, you Important only have 15 detail. health too, right? Yep, exactly. Yeah, wonderful. Um, I'm going to be playing Treasure Knight. So Treasure Knight, uh, when spending for force during a strike, may generate one force for free. So it might not seem that useful, but there's a lot of ways to actually spend force in the middle of a strike. So I save up on a lot of resources that way, right? Uh, so Daniel, let's start it as we do with every game. Please call the inaugury coin toss. Oh, by the way, shuffle your deck just in case we haven't. Mm -hmm. Inaugury yes. coin toss. I mean, of course you always go tails. I feel like that was a cheat toss because it didn't seem to spin mid, mid air for me. So I'm going to do it again. Tails still. Okay, well, that seemed like it flipped enough. If you insist. Well, yep, I insist. Hmm. I'll go second. Mmm, that means Treasure Knight goes first. This is my hand. Gonna sh so I'm gonna take an extra effort to show the audience cards in my hand slowly. Mm -hmm. So that, um, yeah, I've gotten some feedback that they have a hard time reading the cards. So I will take some extra time highlighting the cards and you can just pause in order to see them. All right. I will perform a full mulligan. Ah, no, maybe not a full mulligan. Maybe I want to keep this one card over here. Um, yes, and then I will shuffle and draw four. I mulligan five cards. Ooh, similar to me, near full mm -hmm. mulligan. Hmm. I will strike. Oh, I almost forgot something, Marco. Yes. Good luck and have fun. Oh man, it's always gonna be fun, so you don't need to wish me on that. Mobile gear. Mobile gear. All right, so you play mobile gear, which advances you three spaces. Oh, it is a faster dive, but doesn't deal as much damage. But it will stun out your dive since you have no defenses. Unfortunately for me, it is your go. Well. I'm gonna play a wonderful boost. This boost is called Within My Reach. Uh, it says I have stun immunity to ignore guard. That's a bit misleading. It says if I'm not in an exceed mode, I play a continuous boost from my hand regage at no cost, and then I discard this. Mm. So I will play this boost, which would normally be four force for free, and then discard my Within My Reach. That's terrifying. And then I drop in a turn. That's a very scary, Daniel. Good. Excellent. Be terrified. 
Alright, I will... I have to strike into that. I can't let you build up your base. Alright, speed 6. Alright, so you will uh, deal will... 7 damage to me and stun oh, me out, oh, I believe. Oh. I mean, hold on. First, first I advance 3. Sounds good. Then I advance 2. And then I deal I 7, eat seven damage. Yes. Which stuns me out, which is unfortunate. I, I disagree. Um, right, I'll prepare. Doesn't sound too good for me. I will uh, prepare as well. I'll prepare again. I will prepare as well. All right. Well, that one I paid. I played for free. This one I won't. All right. So I'm gonna spend one, two, three, four. That's a lot of resources to spend. Eh, I'll spend a lot of resources to win a strike. Strike! In retrospect, of course, I probably should have kept an attack that I could use with it. I will wild swing. <laughs> well, that's the danger, you know? Oh, perfect! Ipper, oh my gosh, it works. All right, so you yep. will advance two. Advance two, two which means uh, I'll hit you for seven and stun. Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is not looking great for me. Well, I have thrown a lot of resources into winning new strikes. But I've got my little pocket of gauge, so I'm feeling pretty comfy. Uh, yep. I'll prepare. I will also prepare, bringing me up to a total of eight. I will want to get rid of one of my cards. It will be this grasp. Your go. I will prepare. That puts me at seven. All right. I will strike. All right. It's a cross against oh. a focus. So let me zoom in over here. Uh, and my cross yep. will let me retreat one, two, three spaces. All right, yeah. I uh, swing at the air and draw a card for my after effects. All right, this is your go. Uh, now you're over there. Yeah. Hmm. I will boost. Plus four armor, plus three guard, that's a lot. One, two. Three, four. That's and a lot of resources turn. spent. Okay, I will strike once more. Okay, let's zoom in. I'm performing a cross. Uh, so I will repeat right. one, two, three. I am running away. <laughs> yep, and you'll make it. And I'm out those resources with nothing to show for it. All right. Yep. Uh, I will strike. Quite an interesting play. I will respond with this attack. Let's go. All right. Uh, so on reveal, you need to pay a force cost. Oh, um, Daniel, it is during a strike. So when spending force during a strike, I may generate one force for free. So I need to usually pay one force for this, but thanks to my unique ability, I'll just generate a force for free and not have to pay for it. Well, you still paid for it, for the record. It just didn't cost well, you any cards. Fine, it didn't cost me any cards. All right, semantics aside, it is your go. Uh, oh, right, I win the speed tie. Uh, this is unfortunate for me. So I'm gonna miss. And my after effects uh, will not actually let me dodge that. So I nope. will... I will push one. Oh no, I've been pushed into the corner. So, yep, yep that's exceed rules. You can do stuff like that, push into the corner. It is my go. I will anchor launch you. I hit you. Because I hit you, the opponent discards a card at random. Um, let me pull back out and take one of your cards. It is, ooh, a mech charge. Very good for me, very good for me. Um, then, pull until they are at range two. Hello. Hi. Okay, and I deal six uh, damage. I have one armor, so I'll take five. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, I missed, I missed. Yes. Man, cool. if only you could generate gauge by missing, that would be <laughs> pretty strong. I mean, you just gotta play block. I, I mean, well, you don't miss because you don't even attack in the first place. So can you really call that true. a miss? That's true. All right, that was my attack, so it's your turn. It is indeed my turn. I will perform an attack. Hmm. 
Do I believe? Do you believe in the heart of your cards? No. Are you gonna dig through your deck? No. Nope. Uh, that's quite unfortunate for me. Can I poke you for one? I will in get poked for one because that's a cross with speed six. My focus does not hit. Yeah. I will Sorry, draw I, a card. I did a little too fast. No, that's no problem at all. All right. It's the same thing that happens on the other end of the board when you cross out of my focus. Yeah, so absolutely. So I was like, oh, it's this exact same thing happening in reverse. All right, well, that was your strike. I will... Uh, I'll prepare. I will prepare as well. I'll strike. From this range? Uh-huh. Interesting. I'll perform this attack. It right. is flail. All right. So I miss, and then I advance too. All right. And then I go put my block into my gauge. Yep. Speaking of blocking for gauge. <laughs> Speaking of blocking for gauge. All right. I will now... This is my turn, yes. Mm-hmm. So I will perform this effect and add any number of cards from my gauge to my hand. Uh, but first I must pay for its cost. I will pay for mm -hmm. its cost like this. Mm -hmm. So I will add three cards from my gauge to my hand. Okay. All right. Then add and that then many add cards that from many my cards hand to, your gauge. to my gauge. So I will add one, two, three. Then add the top card of your discard pile to your gauge. Man, I can create gauge without having to hit you. That's wonderful. Hmm. And I will draw a card for the end of my turn. Notice and how I didn't put back the cards. Yeah. Some of the... <laughs> yes. Yeah. So now you have your block again. Yep. Now I have my blocks again. Now I have my anchor shots again. Sorry, anchor launch. I keep calling them anchor shots because I do shoot the anchor out. You know what? You know what? This is fine. Wild swing. Spicy. I like it. Well, I will respond with Anchor Launch. I oh. Hmm. Oops. Hmm. I think I think Grasp would be much more useful if you could actually reach me. This was not the card I was hoping to wild swing, for the record. Oh. Okay. Alright. I thought this was intended. No. You're telling me it's not? Uh, I mean, yes, it is completely intended. I have a master plan. Yeah, all, all right. right. This, this was all to fake me out. So again, once yeah. more, I, I have to pay for this force special, but using my unique ability, I will generate a force for free, meaning I don't have to spend cards. Uh, then I will hit you, causing you to discard the single card left in your hand. Oh, which is a mobile gear. Oh, unfortunate. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. I will pull, pull you until six. your range too, and then I will deal six. Um, you, you hit. Oh, right. This goes into my gauge. Yep. Okay. All right. Is it my go? my strike. So your turn. I will now take the exceed action by spending three gauge, which is my exceed cost. I flip to my backside, and um, when you exceed, pull up to three spaces. I will not pull. Actually, I will pull you exactly into my range. That makes sense. Then, when spending force, you may generate one force for free. So how is this exactly different from my original ability? Well, my original ability only says during a strike. This says just whenever, which means that if my boosts cost anything, if my move actions cost anything, I can just generate force for free. It's wonderful. All right, I will prepare. That sounds uh, pretty good. I will perform a strike. And I'll wild swing in response. It's your hey, block. It's block. Wonderful. So I will uh, block you one, two. I'll take one damage. Yep. All right. That just goes into your gauge, and this goes into my gauge. Yep. Mm -hmm. Prepare. Sounds good. I will also prepare. Wild swing. Quite interesting. I will perform this attack. Uh, Unfortunate for me. Done that. Yeah, I'm faster and I close two and hit for four. One, two, three, four. That stuns me out and you gain advantage. I surely do. All right. I will wild swing again. 
All right, here's my attack. Hey, it's grass. Uh, wow. Uh, You're having a really good time with your wild swings. I'm just wild swinging the things I want to. It's easy. Yeah. Uh, on hit, I will pull you two spaces, and I have three power coming in. Uh, so right now you have two armor, right? Uh, yes. So when I'm hit, I may spend any amount of force for plus two armor for force spent. Well, because of my ability, I'm going to generate one force for free. Uh, meaning that my blocks are actually naturally just four armor. That's a pretty good block. All right, so yeah. you'll take nothing then. Superior block. All right. I will perform an action, and I will spend two force. So I will spend one of my gauge, and I will generate one force for free to move back two spaces. I will draw a card. I will strike from my hands. I will have to wild swing. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I'm faster, and I miss and retreat. And then I will close two spaces. Mm -hmm. This is my go. Also miss. Yep, back to you. I will strike. I will wild swing. Your last card. This is the card I finally meant. Ah, uh, you're faster. Yes, finally, I played the card that was correct. All right. All right. So I will dive me. into you. Hit me for five. Well, when my life would reach zero, I will instead exceed at no cost. All right. How do you exceed? So, Uh-oh. All right. So it says, when I exceed, set my life to four times the number of cards in my gauge to a maximum of 20. Well, I got, I got plenty. So you go to 20. Go to 20. It says, at the end of this turn, or cleanup. All right. Well, we'll come back to that during cleanup. All right, um, uh, so since I stunned you, this goes into my gauge. Yep, and I miss. And now we're in cleanup. All right, so at the end of cleanup, set Tinker Knight and your opponent in their starting positions and expand this card. Well, I will set myself in my starting position and you will do the same thing. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to expand this card? About that. Uh, oh, so oh, <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> oh. You're three spaces wide. I am, and by the way, this old reference card, no good to you. Oh. Here are my new abilities. All right, because your ability says that when resolving one of your specials or ultras, add the effects of its boost to it. So that means your boosts that you used to have to pay like four force for are now just things you can add on to your attacks. Mm-hmm. Uh, for free. All right. This is terrifying, but also we get to do this. It is your go, I believe. It certainly is. I'm going to spend four force to play this oh, boost. God. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to get out of my gauge this mobile gear. And these are all normals. I don't care about them. Uh, and then I'll play this, or I'll spin this and this from hand. So that's a total of four force to spend for that. Uh-huh. And now I will draw for end of turn. I will strike. I will wild swing. All right, you dive into me. Uh, yeah, so I will advance one, two, okay, and it one says more. three, but I can't move past you because I'm three spaces wide. Ah, uh, so it's like you, it's like you try to dive into somebody who's in the corner already, right? Yep. Like it's exactly like, like, like this wall. wall behind you, as far as I'm concerned. Yep, as far as you're concerned, because you're too big. Yep. You're a can't you're think. a wide boy, you know. You you take up such a commanding space on the screen. <laughs> I sure do. All right, this is a very wonderful card. All right, so how much damage is coming in to me? Uh, this is eight power, my friend. Well, it's not eight power because it is only. Um, well, no, I will no, mitigate the power. damage. Well, I will mitigate the damage, right? Okay, that's fine. By spending, by generating one force for free, giving me four armor. Then I will spend one, two force, giving me a total of eight armor, mitigating all of your damage. Uh, okay, that is... You're a tanky boy. I'm in a tank, but you're tanky. Yes, I am very much a tanky character. Um, it is my go, yes? Uh, no, you, you struck. So All I'm right, going it to is your go. Prepare. Well, now it is my go. I will activate my redistribute boost that you saw earlier today. Um, however, instead of paying this one force cost, because of my exceed unique ability, I don't need to. Well, rather, I generate, ah. a, for I generate a force for free. So yep. I may add any number of cards from my gauge to my hand. I will do that. 
that's three. Yep. Then add that many cards from your hand to your gauge. I will uh, do one, two, three. Okay. Then add the and top then... card of my discard to my gauge. And then this goes here, and I will draw a card for the end of my turn. It is your go. Yep. Uh, okay, so the one you... Yeah, all right, so you cut the block. I see how it is. Yeah, well, I'm terrified of you. You deal a lot of damage. <laughs> I will strike. Hmm. This is quite an interesting conundrum. I will wild swing. All right. Uh, since nope. that was a wild swing, you may choose to invalidate it. Yep, I may choose to invalidate this ultra, which I will. Oh, unfortunate. Not good right. enough. I will hit you for three, and I will pull you one. No. All right. I will spend um, my turn performing high tide. So uh, it gives me plus two armor, and before you may spend one two force. If I do, I push you one space. Okay. I will prepare. I will do the same thing. Hmm. I will strike. I will strike as well. It's not like I have a choice. Huh. All right, so I'm faster. Uh, on hit, sure. I draw a card. On you. hit, I push three. Okay. And then after I advance two, and you had one armor, no, two armor, so you take one damage. Yes, indeed, I only take one damage. Uh, yes, because you had three power and I had two armor. Yep. You and have then four I... guards, so you're not stunned. Nope, I am not, indeed not stunned, and I will hit you back for uh, five, but since you have armor and guard on this, um, usually I would only deal two damage, but because I spiked you, I ignore your armor. Take five. Yep, I take the whole five. Hmm. That spike couldn't actually miss, could it? Yeah, because even if you entered into my minimum range, uh, you're three spaces wide, so you're still at range two and three. Oh, fair enough. Well, maybe if I had crossed fair out. Fair enough. I am. Um, oh, quite uh, did you want to push me, by the way? No, I did not want okay. to push you. Just check. So you're wondering, Marco, why didn't you want to push him? Well, I'm terrified at fighting against Tinker Knight in minimum range, so I will right, take the move it. action and get out of get out of dodge. You know, so oh, I will okay. want to move here. How much uh, force does that cost me, Daniel? Yeah, same as always. That's two force. Yes, because as per the rule book, switching sides with the opponent fighter only costs two force. So I want to move he one, two, three, three, four. So that's a total of five force. But mm -hmm. because of my ability, I only need to spend uh, four force. So I will spend one, two, three, and four. I will draw a card for the end of my turn. All right. Well, I have some force too. Yes, you do. Indeed, so a I'm lot. Gonna spend, I'm going to spend some force to advance. Oh, Three you're force. just going to come back to my face? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Draw for an turn. Okay. I will activate the boost on my anchor launch. I will perform the anchor zip. So I will spend one force, generating one for free thanks to my unique ability. I will move up to four. One, two, three, four. And then I will draw two cards and draw one card for the end of my turn. Get back here. Leave me alone. I refuse. <laughs> uh, we always have fun, Daniel. We always have fun. Me too, indeed. I will play um, my boost high tide from my hand. Um, again, spending one force for quote unquote free. Mm hmm. This is your go. Hmm. I will strike. Ooh. I will strike as well. Ooh, fun times, Daniel. Oh it's boy. fun times. I right, activate the Angler's Call. Uh, one really cool thing about this card, by the way, Daniel, is that it's full bleed art, unlike a lot of the other cards. 
It so, is. yeah, because it's, nice. it's so the angler is so massive. Uh, so I will spend three gauge. One, two, three, and um, I'll perform the angler's call with my high tide to boost. However, well, it I, seems like you're first. I'm faster. So, my range hits you. I only yes. can discard a card right now. No, it's my maelstrom chest. I am Sad. okay with this turn of events. And I have six power coming in. You appear to have five armor? I do indeed have five armor, yes. So I will well, take only one then. <laughs> actually take one damage. Uh, it's quite a fun time. Uh, and then uh, you have to take eight? Ah, stun immunity. Yes, I have stun immunity. Right. So. Hmm. That 20 life is going faster than I wanted. Well, that was my strike, so it's your turn. Yes. So I will perform the move action um, and go one, two. So that costs three force in total. I will spend this one gauge to do it, uh, generating one force for free. This generates two force because it's an ultra attack. You can tell because the name is red. Also, it has a gauge cost. Yeah, it has full bleed art, and it has a gauge cost on the upper left, and the shovel is gold. There's a lot of ways to distinguish that between that and a special. All right, I will draw a card. It is your go. I will boost my arcing projectiles, spending four force. All from hand. Mm -hmm. Quite scary indeed, Daniel. Quite scary indeed. What could you be playing? Anything I want. All right, I will play the sweet boost from my hand, giving me plus two speed. I will draw a card. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna advance. One, two, three. So I'm gonna spend three force, one, Okay. Two. Three. This is quite interesting. And I will draw. Why would this be the case? Regardless, it's high time that we perform an attack. It's alpha and strike time. Points. We will reveal. Thankfully. Uh, <laughs> I lose the speed time. Thankfully, I have decided to strike into you. We have five priority, sorry, speed each, and we speed tie, giving me the win. Oh my gosh, your attack would have been devastating. It would have killed you, in fact. I could have been yes. seven power if I'd wanted. Uh, that, that would have been supreme overkill, quite, quite frankly. That is the Man, best so kind of Tinker overkill. Knight, Tinker Knight is actually really powerful in exceed mode because the boost on mobile gear is currently applying to mobile gear, yes? Yep. However, at the same time, this arcing projectiles boost, which is powerful on its own, is also applied to your already powerful mobile gear. So, oh, seven power. And then, oh, okay, so your range wouldn't have hit me, but because of the force feedback effect, if you swap sides with me, you actually still hit me no matter what. Yep, which means even if you played across to retreat and I advanced, I can spend on projectiles, which makes it so my range can't hit. But if I move past you, oh. I will still hit. So basically, if I played anything but Spike, I would be dead. That was the hope. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Well, sadly, I played Spike today, and I, I will be dealing five damage to you. Yes, you will. Again, even if Tinker Knight is in melee range with me, Tinker Knight's taking up three spaces, therefore making him in the effective range of Spike. It's one of his big weaknesses. Literally, big weakness. Hey, you got hey. the joke. So nice. you initiated, I will prepare. That is uh, completely fair. I will play Salvage Operation from my hand, giving me plus one power and plus one armor. I'm a tanky boy. That's fine. I will spend two force. I have plus four armor and plus two guard. Well, you have plus four power and plus two guard. Not what armor. What did I say? You said oh. armor. Well, that's fine. Power. This one. This one. It's a good one. I will prepare mm. because I'm terrified of that attack. I will strike. What could this attack be? Regardless, I must take the initiative and perform this attack. Let's see how we resolve. 
Oh no! Drill arm! Alright, so I spent my force, and I am faster. How much power you is drill not, arm? At, well, you're not at the edge of the arena, but drill arm is 7 power because the boost applies. Uh, and so then I have, have this in place, so this is 11 power. Oh man, that's a, that's ultra levels of powerful. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a good thing I'm treasure knight. So my block is currently 2, I will generate 1 force for free, and I will now have 4 armor. Make that five. I will then have natural plus one because of my salvage operation. Um, so I c currently have five. Yes? Yes. So right I now you're spend taking six damage. two more. You say and my angler's two call. Mm -hmm. And then I will spend one using this, taking absolutely zero damage only for the price of two cards. Hmm. You know, Treasure Knight is pulling off a lot of shenanigans. I think there's something fishy about it. Shenanigans abound, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, he who dares wins, Daniel. Sorry, do you mind if I just look at your cards? Of course not. All right, well, this has a good chance. So I will strike. And I will wild swing. The tension is building. Uh, Sadly, you cannot resolve that, so you must invalidate. Yeah, invalid. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, well, mm. Daniel, we already said you can't do this. I'll keep trying. I am dead. I win yep. the speed, I, not speed tie, but I win the speed contest, and then I will hit you for three damage. I have only one armor, so I will take two. That is enough Whoa. to kill me. Oh, I thought I was going to lose when I was like at eight health. <laughs> alas. Oh my gosh. Alas. Alas, poor Tinker. I knew him. <laughs> Daniel... That was a wonderful game. Thank you so much. Likewise. Oh, I see you've grown small. <laughs> yep. I've been squashed. <laughs> you've been squashed. Uh, sorry. Let's 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 do that correctly. Stomp. Stomp. Yeah. Stomp. I've stomped. I've stomped your cannons. So uh, that's just a little showcase of what these characters can do. Tinker Knight is absolutely terrifying with his boosts up, uh, and once you quote unquote kill him and he flips onto the backside. Uh, he can effectively had a total life of total of 35, I believe, right? You had 35 life. And uh, that is you... the maximum effective, yep. Yep, and you were blasting off powerful attacks that were scaring me like absolutely every time. Uh, but however, the Treasure Knight has a decent number of defensive options. Uh, sorry, decent is an understatement, right? He is a tanky boy. Yeah, he is indeed one of the tankiest characters in the game. Not because his attacks have a lot of natural armor on them, and not because he has a lot of life total, but because he has a lot of boosts that give him armor, and he has a lot of ways to reuse the same cards over and over again. I believe I played this block a good two, three, four times this game, right? Uh, I think four. Yeah, so that was a lot of blocks from me. Um, and actually, Daniel, in case you didn't see, I actually had another copy of Redistribute in my hand, so I got a block oh even more. <laughs> you were never running out of blocks. I was, I was never running out of blocks. Um, hold, hold back and block. So if you guys are interested in any of these characters and you found any of them entertaining to play, uh, please check out our blogs. And more importantly, pre-order or order Shovel Knight Exceed now. Uh, sorry, Exceed Shovel Knight now. Uh, the game will be shipping in quarter four. Uh, so hopefully it's in your hands uh, as soon as possible. You'll find links to the shop in the description down below, or you can wait into the end card where we will have a link that links to our official shop. So as much as I would love to keep talking about how awesome this game is and how awesome that game was, Daniel, I would like to say thank you for being on the show. Yeah, you're very welcome. It was a pleasure to fight you. All right, Daniel, thank you so much. And hopefully we'll see more of you when we release more of these videos. Mm -hmm. I look forward to battling you once more in the future. All right. So thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. Th don't forget to change cards. And thank you, World of Shovel Knight. Thank you, and good night, knights. Happy gaming. Shovel Knight Exceed is available for pre-order now. Check the link to get the bundle and get a discount.